if you want to be competitive, do these three things. Roll the intro. Greetings and welcome to the Contractor Guy. I am the Contractor Guy. And today, you know, here in front of the Supreme Court, it seems rather appropriate that we talk about laws, rules, and things of that nature. Today, I want to talk about some of the more fundamental issues that face all contractors. We're not talking about government contractors. We're talking about private sector contractors. We're talking about small government contractors. We're talking about uh, educational contract. Those who do business with any form of organized contracting do this, and they do it poorly. And for the most part, they get eliminated from competition. So you wonder, well, what are those things, Jim, and what can I figure this out? Well, the contracting guy has three things that you should do, three things. And if you do them and you do them well, you'll have a a a greater likelihood of being selected for a contract. Now, no promises. I don't make promises. I think anybody who makes promises that you'll get a contract is a charlatan. But I will say is that you get is you get better at this stuff, you are increasing the likelihood that you're going to be selected. The first thing that you must do, all, sm all small businesses specifically, those who wish to do business with government, read the solicitation. I mean, read the solicitation. Don't peruse the solicitation. Don't have somebody else read it and tell you the cliff notes of your solicitation. You read the solicitation. Best thing to do with that is a technique that I developed about 10 years ago called the Phillips uh, Solicitation Analysis Technique, or PSAT. You take this, you read the solicitation for familiarity. The second thing is you read the solicitation for content and understanding. The third thing you do is you write a paragraph about uh, the solicitation so that you can synthesize your understanding. Two more steps is evaluation factors and reading the, uh, uh, the uh, instruction to offers. But we're focused on the first three. Those are critical. If you fail to do that, you really kind of have a, the greater likelihood of losing than winning. In fact, you probably won't even win anything. So read the solicitation, critical. The second thing, number two, the second thing is follow directions. One of the greatest impediments to small businesses' success is their inability to follow directions. It's as if they have this innate belief that, well, as directions, it really doesn't matter. I just need to fill out this thing. No, you need to follow directions. And when you follow directions, you're going to have a greater likelihood of being successful. Read the solicitation, follow directions. The third thing that a small business must do is repeat. You must repeat the process because there's going to be things that you forget. So you're going to have to repeat this. You're going to have to read the solicitation, synthesize the solicitation. You're going to have to follow the directions of the, uh, the contracting officer or whomever is the uh, proposal manager that, that created the solicitation. So you need to read, read that. And you follow those directions. One of the things that you do is in following the directions, ask good questions ask good questions. So read the solicitation, follow direction, ask good questions of the, the contracting officer so that you get the clarification on how to better understand the solicitation and also how to follow directions properly. If you don't understand things because of ambiguity or inconsistency, ask the question. There's no harm in asking. There is harm and not asking and getting it wrong and then tossed out of, the uh, out of the competition. Is that what you want? Well, hell, do it because you'll get tossed on your ear. So ask good questions. And then you repeat. 
if necessary, repeat often. It's kind of the old, uh, you know, as, as you think about these things, you, you rinse, you wash, and you repeat. Here, read the solicitation, follow directions, ask good questions, and then repeat as necessary. So this should provide some direction and clarity to, to you as a small business on what to do. Remember, as I said, from my research in looking at small businesses doing business with, with uh, government, all kinds of government, it comes down to those three things. Read the solicitation, follow the directions in the solicitation and what has been described by the contracting officer, and then ask good questions. If you have any questions, please give me a shout. I'll send that information right over to you at the end of this video. But importantly, it's up to you to do what's necessary. With that being said, I am the contracting guy. I am out. Thank you for watching the contracting guy. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. We'd appreciate that. This is the contracting guy. I'm out.